<laughs> this is Liquid Lunch, <laughs> and uh, Jen is here, and I'm yes. Hugh, and uh, we're joined now by Mujtaba Mirza, who's a, a photographic artist, right? Yes. And uh, so tell us a little bit about your... I know, we don't have a lot of time here, but give <laughs> us your whole life story, and how did you get to be a photographic artist here in Toronto? Uh, well, my journey to photography basics, right, uh, because I was interested in filmmaking. Uh, yeah. This is all a bit later, like, you know, I wasn't really into it in university or in school. Uh, it was something I took up a bit later. Uh, I was just interested in pursuing something other than a desk job. Yeah. I, my, I, I'm very passionate about films, so yeah. I thought maybe let's look at filmmaking and I thought let's grab a camera and start shooting. And uh, so photography was my sort of first step towards that, filmmaking towards potentially filmmaking interesting we uh now um what did you take at university i did business w and, where'd uh, you go uh york okay i gotta say that puts you ahead of a lot of artists right there <laughs> just with actually having some business know-how I, I, I would hope so <laughs> <laughs> i took business too and now look <laughs> hey, yeah it's not business it killed it killed his music career is what he's saying to you. no it didn't <laughs> <laughs> Wrong you are. Um, so do you do any business or you're fully working in the uh, photography art field? No, photography at the moment is on the side. Uh, I just do it when I have time and when some, I have to plan this out, mostly weekends. Uh, yeah. a, lot of, uh, mo most, a lot of my photography is street photography, uh, which involves like three, two, three hour walks, for trying to find something in, on the street. Around the city? Yeah. Uh, do you live in? I, I do live in the city, yeah. Downtown, downtown I'm sure. Yeah, right yeah. downtown. Yeah. So after work, I've gone on some long walks. My work is community downtown, so I. It's you, easy. You know, I'm I often impressed at, at how much, like Toronto seems to look really good on TV. Yes. And it looks good <laughs> in the camera lens. Yeah. Is that your experience as well? Uh, I think it's pretty interesting. It's very like. Uh, you get some nice you, if you want your urban skyscrapers that sort of kind of photography you can get that but there's a lot of little quirky um, yeah yeah there's a lot of quirky things going on too uh you can find some interesting characters on the street you can find you can find like uh just a turn off a main street and you'll find just behind a couple of houses some amazing graffiti yeah, uh, or street, laneways, or street art. Yeah, uh, the laneways and all that. Yeah, you yeah. Have nature in the craziest places. Too. Yeah, yeah. Uh. You have to kind of look for it. Uh, like for last year, when I started really doing it uh, a bit more, uh, I want to pursuing it a bit more uh, for the purpose. I was uh, in London and Paris last summer, and I came to Toronto. I'm like, well, if I want to do photography here, I don't know what to shoot here. There's nothing like you know, nothing like. London or Paris. Did you just come to Toronto recently? No, no. I, I oh. moved there 13 years ago. Oh, uh, okay. But for, for taking photographs in that city, those cities, and I come to Toronto, I'm like, what am I, there's nothing there's on that. A, it's not kind of the same iconic. Exactly, yeah. 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 Historical, you, you don't get that, right? As much. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it doesn't have that history of those cities. Uh, so I really had to kind of push myself a bit more. That's how I started doing those long walks finding something like you know uh, so the, uh, it was a it's a lot of attempts at like capturing something which is uh is usually right there we don't notice it and yeah. it's something a bit more something just happens by it just naturally and you happen to be there you take a photo mm -hmm. now and you, and you process your photos like do you do is that in photoshop or is that in camera like what uh, what's your process for Oh, uh, can we see some of the images, maybe? Uh, yeah, sure. that's a good idea. Let's bring up uh, some of these so we can chat about them as we go. Okay, here's one. Wow. That's a cityscape, all right. Yeah, so this is, uh, I think, fourth floor of the AGO. Uh, which is, you can see this oak at the back. And I just kind of saw this sort of the colors, and it was all windows and concrete, and that sort of everything you kind of don't know what's happening, kind of like getting lost yeah. in that. So these are actually the colors of the... Uh, they uh, are a bit, like, I touched them up in Photoshop, uh, just a little bit, uh, just to make sure it was this, this too much light, something, mm -hmm. just to make it, the colors, correct them a little bit. Uh, but nothing too much that looks completely different. 
Oh, it's cool. Yeah, because uh, when I first saw this, um, and I was seeing it from a little bit of a distance, um, I thought that it was. I thought that the colors were all altered. That you actually, yeah, like replace colors and things. But it's actually just sort of cleaned up, but not actually. Yeah, yeah. These are there's... actually what you saw in color wise. Yeah, yeah. So that's really cool. That it looks very artificial, but at the same time, it's it's well, what was the actually thing. there. Yeah. That's the thing about an artist. They see the colors that other people don't really notice, right? Or that. They, yeah, that's they... a great. Yeah, it's a great shot. Yeah. Okay. Let's do some more. So this, so this is. In <laughs> you see what I mean? It's really easy to think that it's to think that uh, all the colors have been replaced. This or one processed, doesn't even really look like a photo. What is this yeah. one? This is. Um, I happened to go to Cape Breton last year for okay. a friend's wedding. I took my camera. I had maybe a couple of hours to sh take some photo, do some photography there, and uh, I saw this. This that's my hotel where I was staying, right next to it. Where were you? Was that in Sydney? Or? Sydney, yeah. 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 I just walked around and just saw in the middle of this sort of gray sky and like green and like just it just kind of rained and this sort of uh, shopping cart was just standing there. It was just there. Somebody it, just put it. There. It was it was just there, and yeah. uh, I was like, okay, this looks this looks good. <laughs> Let's well, do it's this. such a contrast that bright yeah. red. Yeah. And then the rain and the green yeah. and the dark. Yeah. 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 When first when you're looking at it, like you almost think it's. You've got this weird contrast. It's almost like you've got a jungle in front, and then the then the urban yeah. landscape behind it. Exactly. It's, it's yeah, really yeah. neat. The contrast is yeah. really cool. All right, let's have another look at another one. How'd you like Cape Breton, by the way? It was amazing. Yeah. I'm just waiting to go get, go there again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I was on this uh, uh, like a flight from Halifax to Sydney, which is the smallest airplane I've ever been on. It was basically <laughs> 20 people on the plane, and was it a prop plane? Uh, or was I, I was maybe four feet above the ground like, <laughs> when we were getting in. It was, it was really, it was, the whole experience was pretty fascinating. Yeah, that's so cool. So I would love, definitely love to go back. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. Rest, the rest of Nova Scotia is really nice too. Yes. So don't yeah, yeah, don't yeah, yeah, just yeah. stick to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's it's look at another one It's pretty easy to get stuck here. in Cape Breton and never see the rest of it. Yeah. Have you been there? Cape yeah. Breton? Yeah. But I, yeah, I love the rest of, I lived in Nova Scotia for a while. Hey, wait, what about those phone booths, dude? Let's watch those phone booths. Where's right. that? So this is uh, right in uh, College Park. If you know, oh, yeah. You, yeah. Know, you know the Timmy's there. Yeah, I know the uh, exact place. And where that's it is. where people can make your one call to your lawyer, right? Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's looks the like courthouse, that. right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I just saw this. Uh, I did my own, my one manipulation was just taking the receiver off that one in the middle and just letting it hang. Mm. I don't know. It yeah, was, I like uh, that. I thought that was somebody that uh, couldn't get a hold of his lawyer and tried to <laughs> bolt for the door. But that's kind of the idea that, you know, you look at a photo and you uh, there's some sort of, you kind of wondering what it is and why it is. Yeah. Trying to imagine what this is. Feel like there's some sort of story behind what's going yeah. on. Yeah. Uh, so obviously the one that receiver stands out. And yeah. then you also think why. Who was here? Did someone make this call? So... That was kind and of. Hugh's got a whole story built up. Yeah, yeah. Based on personal experience? Yeah, it's based or? on my actual story. Of, <laughs> uh, I got off, though, so it worked out okay. It's all right. That's um, no, good then. You want to do the next one? All okay. right, so this is in uh, those pedestrian Sundays on uh, Kensington Market. Oh, yeah. Uh, so I was just walking around and uh, I saw this guy doing his DJ and the other guy at the back is kind of totally chilling out and uh, in, kind of lost in what was happening. What's nice about that is you can tell it's daylight, yeah. but uh, you've got a little bit of a disconnect with the, yeah. the, with the club, yeah, the club yeah. DJ standing yeah. in the street. Definitely. Yeah, it's neat. And in this one, the colors, like, obviously I had to sort of, uh, it was around like one or two o'clock, so the light was a bit hard, so I had to sort of right. tone it down a little bit. Do we have any more? Is that the last one, or is there? Uh, so this is uh, Mexico City. Oh, okay. I happened to be there in January this year uh, for my work, and I did make a plan to like just go out in the city at least a few times to just take photos. Uh, so this is, if you notice, uh, there's a sort of hat right in the corner. It's a little hard to see. From here. On, the, on the right corner? Yeah. So this is okay, the, yeah. this is the guy who's kind of just doing the the facilitator, the sorry, the facilities person, just kind of cleaning the street and that sort of. And he left his hat there. Where is this? This Mexico City. This is Mexico City. Yeah. Oh yeah, it didn't look like Toronto. And <laughs> right in the corner, there just happened to be a bird sitting 
where that angel she's supposed to have the spear right so it, it this was again like i didn't even notice the bird until i after took the photo oh it's crazy so even you got surprised by I what got, you, yeah, what you yeah. so this is one of those things that just happens to be there and it kind of makes it much more interesting than it might when be there's otherwise. a lot in this picture too I, I, and the other thing i like is the way that um is the way that the part that's actually really brightly lit is the is the street that you see just past the building where the angels yeah. are yeah. and the angels are actually in that almost in a shadow yeah yeah yeah, that's a really cool picture too. So, um, are you part of this? The, are you part of Raw then? Are you going to be uh, showing on? Yes. What day are you going to be showing? I am on uh, Friday. Okay, that's the sixteenth. Uh, that is the sixteenth. Yeah. So, uh, these are some of the photos I was in their in their show in August, and these are the photos that I had uh, last time at the show. So I have some more photos. I'm uh, these are a lot of them are eight by ten. So for my for this show, I'm going a bit smaller. So, okay. so I can inc increase, have like more variety in the photos. This is the business of you coming out saying that you can probably get more sales if you have a yeah, larger that, number that of do, smaller that pieces. Do definitely, <laughs> definitely. I mean, I mean, it was like uh, the first. Uh, that was the first exhibition I ever had. I had maybe twenty days to prepare for it, from finding out that I'm in to the actual show. Right. So I had to f learn and figure out how to do all this by myself, YouTube and Google, and and like talking to printers and they gave their advice and it was a whole it was a lefty steep learning curve hey you know I got an idea for you because I found this printer well no I'm not gonna give out my, <laughs> my, my but you can get uh, like photography or any kind of artwork printed on like brushed aluminum and stuff like that I think I may have seen that yeah. it's really and other materials yeah. as well it's yeah. a really if, as a phot photographic artist it's something that would uh, intrigue me. Anyway, I could show you some stuff uh, we got around yeah. here. Just to I've seen I've seen a few photo. Uh, I went to a couple of exhibitions in the city, and uh, one thing I saw was happening in, in them was they printed their photos on this sort of uh, canvas, which is used by painters. Yeah, is that a clay print? Yeah, yeah, I've seen that so, yeah. too. So it, it looked like it was painting. a painting, but yeah. it wasn't. See, I think that is the future, maybe. Yeah. Of, <laughs> no, because I think real realistically. F photography as an art form. I mean, my personal opinion is like uh, it's something that I would do for myself, but I'm not sure I would. That's just me. Buy someone yeah. else's photographs. You mean to me, it's like a personal art form, right? For yeah. myself, right? So I'm just saying. So anything to make mm -hmm. it stand out, stand out to make it more of a unique. Uh, one of a kind. Definitely. Uh, What's well, funny because um, I think that a lot of artists find that that their prints sell better than their originals, and that that their prints on an article that's actually functional sell better than their prints. So if you actually sell a mug with your with your yeah. painting on it yeah. or your photograph, it yeah. actually sells better. It's really it's really funny that we yeah. seem to put more value on something that's functional <laughs> than on art, but we want the thing to have art yeah. on it. Well, you can basically have two ways of having your art stand out, either what you shot or drew itself or what the medium it is you finally put it on. Right. And uh, yeah. so one way or the other, you focus on one thing or the other, maybe both. Now, when uh, people come then, to the show, uh, will yeah. they be able to buy your prints or, uh, yeah, or yeah, originals as well? Or, so I guess there's not so much originals with, with uh, photographs. but Yeah, they will. Uh, more, all my photography will be, like the prints I bring will be up for sale. Uh, definitely, yes, if anyone's looking for Christmas gifts, holiday gifts, definitely come by. Now, are you going to be there the 15th and the 16th? I or? am just here on the 16th. The 16th, so yeah. that's the Friday, right? Yes. I think they have is, yeah. so many artists at these things now. They have to like, they have to schedule them. Yes, but it's yeah. good. It's Christmas. It's perfect timing. Yeah. Um, I yeah. just, I just want to ask you, um, Mushtaba, because um, you mentioned your original uh, motivation was to get into film. Yeah. And so, is that still your end uh, game here? Uh, yeah. I would if uh, if I could do photography and filmmaking side by side that would be yeah. pretty amazing now would you direct or would you actually go through the, the camera end of it uh i've seen like i've been involved in a couple of short films like uh in the on the production side and i've seen the directing of it and uh the camera work camera work seems a bit like pretty uh you need to be know what you're doing with the equipment and everything yeah uh, I'm, so there will be a bit more of a learning curve there more so than, than the, i'm more interested in the directing and maybe the writing side 
So you know, last way night, you, uh, last night we just want to say we have a, because uh, we do some film stuff here, and we actually watched a film last night, uh, a film called, uh, uh, oh, it's a famous Indian film called Pather Panchali. Do you, are you familiar with that film? No, no. Amazing film done in 1950 to 1955. What was interesting was the uh, guy who did it was originally an illustrator. And he had seen some mm -hmm. uh, couple of European films and said, I want to do this. And it was actually an amazing film. It blew my mind. What really, you know, you're doing the photography. Yep. He was an illustrator. What struck mm -hmm. me most was the camera work mm -hmm. was phenomenal. Almost every frame looked like a painting. It was like yeah. an amazing film. So it's I sweet. just want to extend an invitation. If you'd like to come, we're doing this every Wednesday here at that sure, channel definitely. in yeah. the evening. Yeah. And uh, we have an award-winning uh, uh, film producer, feature film producer. And uh, it's a great bunch of uh, people showing up and great films. And uh, if you want to continue to pursue to the, the film site, it might definitely, be something yeah, we'll you might be, be interested, uh, yeah. interested in. So um, did, did you want to, did you have another oh, question no, it's just, there? Uh, yeah, it's interesting because uh, you, you tell stories, obviously, in your, in your photographs. So despite the fact that you're coming from that visual sense, you're also coming from a storytelling sense. So directing yeah. might be a really good fit for you. Yeah, I mean, like some of my... Uh, best like my favorite filmmakers uh like stanley kubrick is one of them who was originally a photographer yeah and uh you can see that sort of his uh, that visual sort of eye of his going into his filmmaking where like there's so much detail and planning into each of his images and every shot is like you know uh, it's seen on its own is just like they just stand out on their own besides the film and you can read so much into it. Like yeah, the, definitely. The, 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 I mean, people will look at his films and interpret it any number of oh, ways. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Every scene, every image exactly. is got is so deep. Yeah. And there are quite a few like other filmmakers like I've seen over the years who just like uh, just visually draw you into uh, the movie, and you don't want the movie to end. Like whatever is going on, just let's just yeah. keep doing this for another hour. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. Is there anything else you want to leave us with? Any other information or uh, that uh, people can take away? And uh, uh, Well, I would just like to invite them to the show and uh, come check out my stuff. Uh, I am planning on uh, building my website a bit more in, in terms of you can, you'll be able to buy your, uh, my prints from the website. Okay. So... Uh, so people can find you on your own website, and yeah. they can also find you on the raw website then? Yes. And yes, what is can. your own website? It's uh, mujiphotos.com. How do you spell that? M-U-J-I. Yeah. F-O-T-O-S. Dot com? Dot com. You know, there's a store over in the atrium called Muji. Yes. <laughs> they sell really boring clothing. <laughs> I need to ha go have a talk with them. <laughs> <laughs> They're Japanese. Anyway, great to uh, meet you. And have you Thank on you. the show today definitely. and have this conversation. I wish you all the best. Thank you. And you should come back for our movie nights on I Wednesday. I will definitely, I so, definitely come out. Okay, we'll back. hook you up for that. All right. Great. Thank you. Okay, great. So we're going to take a little break, uh, and then we're going to come back. I think we got Larry and uh, Morgan on the road coming back from Standing Rock, and then we got more artists in the house, so it's going to be real busy. And we're going to continue right here on thatchannel.com. We'll be right back.